Hello, this is Original Intent. Today is March 17th, 2024. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is about education. This is not going to be the video that I had planned on making. I had planned on making several videos going into great depth on this subject because I feel that solving the problems in our education system are among the most important things that we could be working on. However, I have decided that others have already created much of the content that I intended to and have done a much better job than I would have. So my coverage on this subject is going to be brief and to the point and I will include links to other content as well as point out some books that are very worthwhile and some resources for those that are interested. First let's just lay out some basic facts. As of 2021, 19% of high school graduates are functionally illiterate. Over half of the population aged 16 to 64 reads at or below 7th grade levels. The 2024 estimate of the national average spent per student per year in the public school system is $17,124. Multiply that by 13 years and you get $222,612. And that gives you an 80% chance of being able to be literate. And that's not at the 12th grade level, but that's reading at a basic 6th grade level. 10% of new teachers leave the field after their first year. 17% leave within five years. Technically, it's four years. The study that I looked at incorrectly states that covering the school years 2007 and 2008 to 2011 to 2012 was five years, and actually it's four years. So even the guys doing a study on education couldn't do basic math right. In public education in the United States, there is one administrator for every 12 staff on average, and staff is not only teachers. Staff includes counselors, librarians, custodians, bus drivers, nurses, secretary and office staff, teachers assistants, and food service workers. For every 12 of any of those, there was an administrator. Now, I was unable to find data on the ratio in private schools. I find this funny because when I ran for the Utah State Legislature in 2000, researching this information was very easy, and the number at that time was 29 teachers to every one administrator. However, trying to find that information on the internet now is virtually impossible and even using the AI chatbot. The chatbot for some reason was very easily confused between teacher to administrator ratios compared to student to teacher ratios. Take that as you will. I found it very suspicious that uh, the chatbot got very stupid very quick as soon as I started to dig into this. So public schools for all intents and purposes are a monopoly and yes you do have the option to homeschool or send your children to private school but the bottom line is you still have to fund the public school whether you choose to use it or not. Public schools are not competitive. They have too few teachers not getting paid enough and too many administrators that are getting paid too much. Any competent education system would have most children reading, writing, and doing basic math by the end of elementary school and yet our current system fails to do this for almost 20% of students with 13 full years of schooling. Yeah, my personal experience, my two kids, I had my oldest son was reading and reading quite well at age three and this wasn't me being some kind of tiger parent that was a drill sergeant or anything like that. I just uh, spent time with my kids. Basically I think I taught them that learning is enjoyable and it pretty much just took off from there so both of my sons have done very well. One final problem in our current education system is it's a government-run school. Government, government run schools are always going to teach children that government is the solution to every problem rather than the cause of problems. Government run schools are never going to teach children to challenge or question the government. So that's a big problem. So these are some of the problems. What are the, what are the solutions? Well, homeschooling is an excellent choice. And although many parents feel overwhelmed at the responsibility of teaching their children, most parents are absolutely capable of teaching basic math, reading, and writing, and can do a much better job than the public school system due to being able to provide individual attention and tailor the uh, teaching to each child's needs. Also, getting into a homeschooling co-op where parents kind of pull their resources and give the children a better chance to socialize and also each parent maybe has some areas that they're stronger in that they can uh, their kids can rotate around and learn things from the parents that are strong in the various areas. Now if you're not ready to jump right into homeschooling at the very least be involved in your child's education and do not put up with schools telling you that it is none of your business what woke garbage they want to teach your kids. If you choose public education, don't only be aware of what is being taught to your kids, but also augment their education to make sure that you are having input into the values that your kids are learning. Uh, encourage discussion with your kids to you know, keep up on what they are learning in school. 
uh, an excellent resource for either homeschooling or for augmenting your child's education is a set of books called the Tuttle Twins books uh, by Connor Boyat. I highly recommend them. Kids love them. And honestly, you'll probably learn something from them. They are very well done. And I'll have a link to those in the description. Self-directed learning is a great option. So all kids have different interests. And especially at a young age, children are easily bored if they're being taught things that they're not interested in. But on the other hand, if kids are allowed to uh, basically choose their own path on stuff that they want to learn, kids are going to want to learn to read if they find out that books are a way for them to learn about dinosaurs or outer space or pretty much anything, any subject. Even if it's just reading um, like stories like Charlotte's Web or similar fiction books, kids are always going to have an interest. That, they, that is the nature of children is they are interested. If you show them that learning to read is a gateway to learning anything that they want to learn. My experience has been that kids are just going to absolutely eat that up. So one argument that we hear for public schooling is the need for children to socialize. However, looking at society today, it is clear that even basic social skills are not being taught very well. Some suggestions I have to improve public education that would also lower the costs. Preschool and kindergarten should focus mostly on play. A variety of fun learning activities should be offered and children should not be pressured to participate in things that they don't like. And yes, I understand that there is something to be said for discipline, but at these very beginning stages, the real critical thing that you want to teach is that this is a fun opportunity. This is a chance for them to have a positive experience that they're going to look forward to. And this also means allowing introverts to be introverts and maybe let them do things alone or in small groups but also have some activities available for larger groups for kids that like that type of thing. As they advance through their school experience, um, definitely it's a good idea to get introverts involved somewhat in larger group activities and also maybe teaching extroverts to uh, have some quiet time and learn how to think about things even in these early activities in preschool and kindergarten and so forth um, there's always opportunities to teach things like simple math the alphabet or you know other things that you can uh, make the game be a learning experience also and also at an early age you know we want to teach cooperation respect for others um, these are some core values that need to be taught from the very earliest of ages and bullying bullying it would not be tolerated of course yeah in first second and third grade the focus should move away from play and more towards learning but again we want the learning to still be integrated into games and having fun um, it should you know learning should not be a chore every student needs to be recognized and supported in their successes advanced students should be given the opportunity to help students that are struggling. Um, this can be a learning experience both for the teacher and the student. Um, computer learning can be a fun way to integrate gaining skills with rewards, and it can also personalize the learning experience. The idea of achieving certain skills and leveling up to open up different areas or even a completely different game could certainly provide great motivation for many kids. Imagine learning chemistry from Professor Snape from the Harry Potter books, for instance, or, um, you know, again, the opportunity for kids to learn from uh, fictional characters or even historical characters that they're interested in would be a great way to motivate a lot of kids. And computer learning would always need to be balanced with live instruction, especially one-on-one -on -one tutoring to help them in subjects where they were struggling. Also, you want to take the things that have been learned and apply them to real-world applications. So computers can be a useful educational tool, but we never want students to become trapped in a cyberspace environment. We want to mix learning on computer with learning in the real world. Uh, I also uh, do envision that the teacher to student ratio at lower grades should be quite low um, in order to give each student lots of individual attention and as the student advances and becomes more disciplined classes could gradually increase in size perhaps by middle school classes of 20 to 30 students or more and by late high school um, kids could be taught in lecture halls with dozens or even hundreds of students and again this would provide an opportunity for students that were very advanced and doing well to serve as teachers assistants or even guest lecturers i hope this video provided some food for thought i have included some resources in the description below for anyone that is interested thank you again for your time please like share and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. God bless and have a great day.